Hello, this is your friend Tercio here playing Civ 6 as the Spanish Philip II. And I'm still struggling to actually see a viable victory here. Unfortunately, I didn't I didn't play this game very well. I I think everyone er, everything went downhill with Petra, focusing too much on Petra, but it was just it was just so irresistible. Just look at all this desert. Some Petra would be amazing. But alas, it was a mistake, and probably I won't do that again. So that actually set me back a lot. I am, um, I am very uh, behind technologically and civically as well. I mean, only Monty and Pedro are very behind me. Okay, so we got a builder right out in Valencia. We can use him right now to let's see. What was I going to use this builder for? I could get the nitrate resource to get a boost. Which I can. And in Valencia, I can actually continue doing... I could get a trader. To boost up the trade and the stuff that we get. Not bad. Seven turns for steam power. I really need to get steam power out of the way. To access the radio tech to do seaside resorts and start getting our our tourism output. Somehow I think China doesn't have any seaside resorts, so we're still in time to actually overtake them. If we check the appeal map mode, we can see that we do have some breathtaking tiles. I mean, this one. We don't own it yet. But let's see. These are breathtaking. Barcelona has certainly some breathtaking places. Not exactly the best tiles, though. I wonder if, I, if this one's accessible. No, it's actually not accessible. Unfortunately. But this one is, and this one. Zaragoza can build some nice seaso seaside resorts there. And Cartagena. Cartagena. What can I do in Cartagena? Oh, uh, I really needed a theatre square, didn't I? Although, with such low production, it's going to be a bit hard. I'm going to need one of the traders down here at Cartagena sending food. So I'm just going to get a theatre district. Uh, I wish I could just put it, plop it down there. Plop it here. Because here the th we could get the campus right there. Yeah. Let's just do that. So now in Cartagena we can build a theatre square here. Okay, so Barcelona and Cartagena are getting their theatre squares now. Madrid is really getting some culture, and Granada as well. They're the kings of culture right now. India is now in the atomic era. Now that is dangerous because Gandhi, is, he really likes nukes. I just hope he doesn't discover any nuclear technology soon. Hmm. Brazil is fighting with La Venta. I know those are barbarians. Okay, so spy is back in Madrid. I do want to keep spying on on Gandhi though. Or I could just go to Monty. No, Monty is very He's, he's backwards. Too backwards he is. So... Let's keep on going towards Gandhi. Let's actually go to Madurai this time. Well, hold on. We can go to Rio. We could steal some great works if we wanted to. That would be... That would be incredible if we actually do that. Hold on. This spy... 
How about Mumbai? No. Delhi? No. Doesn't doesn't Gandhi have any great works of any sort? Let's see. No, he doesn't. Okay. Maybe then I should steal from China. Because China has a lot of great works that I could steal. If I go to Xi'an. Wow, 25%. That is not pre that is not good. You know what? In fact, I should go to China. Go and get some sources. Get some experience. Level up this spy. And increase... And increase the chances of stealing stuff. From China. Yeah, that would be pretty good. Confirm the placement. I really need to steal those great works from China because he is leading right now. In the cultural victory. And I really need to get that tourism skyrocketing. I mean, I only got 50. Which kind of is sucky right now. So, Zaragoza uh, needs a new production. Workshop would be nice to speed up some more production as well. The Bolshoi Theatre could also be a good choice, but it's 80 turns. Let's just go with the workshop first, just to increase the production output. And finally, the Forbidden City is coming along. It takes a rather long time to produce things right now. Which sucks. I mean, I don't have the best tiles in the world. Ooh, an Arabian Apostle. Coming to spread Islam in Zaragoza. And that's for great people. Oh, I can buy, I can buy a great... Oh no, why, why am I happy? Oh, but Congo does have more great artist points than me per turn now. Hmm. Well, I'm not certainly, I'm certainly not going to buy these two because I'm going to get them over time. Going to keep saving up some faith. Perhaps to... Let's see. Certainly not winning in great generals or great admirals. I am winning in... Great... I mean, Congo is 12 points per turn. Great artists. I really need to boost that up. Great musician I'm leading. And in great scientists, I'm tied. And great writers I'm leading. That's pretty nice. Okay. Fortify that conquistador. And just skip the turn. We're in the middle of the 19th century now. Still haven't discovered this part of the continent yet, though. Salvador de Bahia is pretty tempting because they do have a theatre square that I can use. In fact, do they have any artifacts? Because if they do, I will be taking over. Okay, there we go. They don't have any artifacts, okay. But they do have a theatre district that perhaps I could take advantage of if I so wanted. Yeah, they don't have anything else. Trader from Valencia. Is this... Oh, yeah, okay. So, I still want to get some food for Valencia, so I'm going to keep going to Madrid. Or we could just go to Cairo. If we go to Cairo, which is on the other continent, I get extra gold and stuff. That is a lot of gold. Let's go to Cairo for some gold. Yeah, sea route. And the next trailer that comes out will, will, will give food to Valencia. Ike. Ike. 
Yes, I I I IQ as well. All right. I'm going to get the neighborhood soon. Nice. And depending on the appeal of the tile, we get more or less housing. Receive 50 gold per appeal of tile when replacing a farm with a neighborhood district. Mm hmm. That neighborhood. Um. Yeah, that's all it does. The neighborhood gives housing. So we got a new trade route from Barcelona. This, I think, we could go. We could keep going to Madrid if we wanted to. I mean, how much housing does Barcelona have? Six out of seven. Mm, maybe I should just transfer to Cartagena. Just to boost up some food that Cartagena's getting. Yeah. I would also need a worker to work on that salt. Which, right now, I just don't know where... I got one here. And I think it's the only one. Hmm. Alright, let's go downwards towards Cartagena then. Do we just discover a tribal village so late in the game? Oh my god, nobody can reach that. It's actually surrounded by, by these... Uh, Icy tiles that nobody can traverse. I wonder how they survive being surrounded by ice all day. Hmm. Ike, Ike, indeed. Urbanization. Just two turns left to finish it. Yep. And we'll be going towards mass media. Oh, and Cristo Redentor is actually pretty useful here. Tourism output from relics in holy cities is not diminished by other civilizations who have researched the Enlightenment Civic. Doubles tourism output output of seaside resorts across your civilization. That is what we need because we really want seaside seaside resorts. So that's what we're going to do. This trader here, Cartagena, we go to Madrid, get some food. So go ahead, get some comida. And my lonely caravels, they're still taking a while to discover the rest of the world. Seems that nobody really is settling around here. I could settle here just for the breathtaking, for the good appeal views. I could actually use that. I think in the end, I will actually send a settler over there. I think I will. We're going to colonize a new world then. Just for the views. Science owes more to the steam engine than the steam engine owes to science. Oh yes. What I like about cities is that everything is king size. The beauty and the ugliness. Okay, nothing that I'm really interested in. So now we're going towards radio mass media. This is a critical moment of the game. I really need more breathtaking views. Tiles. And for that, I'm gonna probably build another settler. Build another settler to take over to the new world. 565 gold though. Gonna have to wait a bit or build it somewhere. Send the settler over here, which these are very good tiles here. Very good tiles. Settle here, my little own Gibraltar. On this corner of the map and get all the seaside resorts. And I really should start thinking about making the Cristo Redentor. Which, in fact, is going to... The mass media tech is going to finish at the same time as Granada produces the Forbidden City. So maybe I can make the Cristo Redentor in Granada. 
Oh, and I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need housing there as well. Wow, there's so many things I have to do. Okay, Valencia already has a new trader, which we're gonna send to Madrid for more food. We are gonna need more housing in Valencia, though. Neighborhoods. Let's see. First off, I'm gonna check the appeal. I don't want it here because this is a good seaside resort place. I could just place it here. Buy I bu buy this tile. Could just buy this tile. I mean, these these are good seaside resort places. So one, two, three. Yeah, I could own all of these. But I do need more housing in Valencia, so we're gonna build it on here. Plus five. There we go. And we got our spy in Xi'an. So I want him first to gain sources. Which is a 100% thing. And it's impossible to fail. Alright. I wonder if somehow I can boost the production by gaining in Granada. Don't know if I get better tiles right now. I can't see why it's passing the turn, unfortunately. Oh, wow. What's going on here? Hmm. Seems that India is retreating their troops from the border. Something's going on. Hmm. Is India at war with anybody? They're still at war with the Aztecs. Alright. That workshop is almost done. And this spy is still doing what he has to do. His mission. He's still doing it, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Okay. Let's see. I'll probably do the new settler here in the in Zaragoza. And take him over by sea, escorted by a caravel, which talking about caravels. Where are they? Okay, we got one here. You should return home, sir. You should return over here. Or over here, so because the settler will embark around here. Barcelona also needs more housing, unfortunately. I think we already have a granary here. Yes, we do. So we're going to have to wait a while. You come up here, sir. Come up fast. And last turn to complete the workshop. Come on, workshop. And theatre theatre square in Sao Paulo. Hmm. Wow, that's lots of apostles. Lots and lots of apostles. Arabia is already building research labs. That's not good. That is not good because it gives a big science output and they're probably going towards a science, science victory or something. Wow, Congo has like 13 more techs than me. Alright, so Zaragoza is going to do the settler for 9 turns. While Sao Paulo here, we can do the amphitheater. Get some great writer points and boost a bit of culture. Okay. 
Worst kind of violence, okay, but I, I'm not a violent person, mate. I, I really don't fight until people declare war on me. So that's pretty dumb, Gandhi. That's pretty dumb what you're doing there. And this apostle spam is getting annoying. It's getting very annoying. Xi'an keeps building their stuff. China, I mean. I like how there's a small wall surrounding the city and then the, there's the big giant uh, wall of China. Okay. So, not bad for this, this couple of turns. I do have to cut here though, so if you enjoyed the episode, remember to leave us a thumbs up. And if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel for more strategy games. This is Tercio, and I'll see you later.